principal, which would be the transportation director or the supervisor of the suspected abuse, who then shall also promptly make a report to the proper authorities for investigation. If the principal is suspected, if the, if the principal is, is, is if the principal suspects child abuse, the employee shall notify the supervisor, superintendent, or designate who shall promptly report it to the proper authorities for investigation. So here's the common practice for us, okay? What we do is report it to the transportation director or supervisor, and he'll make a report with you to, to the uh, DCBS, the, the Department of Child-Based Services, and it must be reported immediately, okay? So if we see this, if we think it's happening, and there's suspicion there, then we need to report that immediately. You don't need to sit on that, wait on it, think about it, mull it over, maybe I saw it, maybe I did. You understand? It needs to be reported immediately. Then they can do the investigation, and we together will report that to the proper authorities so that we, so those situations can be handled. The district, in most cases by law, is not authorized to investigate. So even the district, from the superintendent's standpoint, uh, when we find that they're, you know, if they find or think or suspect child abuse, it's out of our hands for the most part. Except under certain circumstances, can the district perform an independent investigation, and and uh, you have to seek the board policy for all of those details. All of the current school administrators, certified personnel, office staff, instructional assistants, coaches, and extra extracurricular sponsors shall complete board-selected training on child abuse and neglect prevention, recognition, and reporting, and it gives a date here about January 31st, 2017, which is old, but what you need to know is that school administrators, teachers, assistants, coaches, staff have been uh, trained on recognizing child abuse and neglect, reporting that, and taking the proper actions to get that reported to where it needs to go. Of course, there is the Kentucky Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline and the National Human Trafficking Hotline. Of course, we've watched uh, the human trafficking video. We understand what that is. We've been trained on that to watch for, and there is hotlines and places where you can make calls anonymously or otherwise uh, to those hotlines to, uh, to help that. So anybody have any questions about that whatsoever? Anybody at all? Okay. Uh, one further thing that we need to do if you want to advance the slide, we're going to talk about we'll watch this video here on suicide prevention. Uh, the Family Resource Center is highly involved in suicide prevention in each school. Uh, our job, including all of us, okay, is to create a safe, caring, and respectful environment for our students. So uh, your student management, our seating charts, managing your students on a daily basis, hopefully provides for as comfortable as possible, as safe as possible, for everybody on the bus, that environment that we need, a safe, caring, and respectful environment. Uh, again, let me just say that write-ups often bring issues to the surface. If the student's acting out, there most certainly is a reason probably behind it, and we can discover that uh, from uh, the administrator's standpoint and from our standpoint as bus drivers. So look, listen, pay attention to your students. Uh, I think, I don't think, you know, we, we care at some level what's going on on our bus, you know, uh, either a whole lot or just a little. But we do care at some level exactly what's going on on our bus because we care about our students and we want them to be safe. And if we can prevent the loss of one life, wouldn't it be worth it? If we stepped in and it did what we needed to do, and just by simply, here's what we need to understand, just by simply doing your job, simply following procedure, I mean, you could save a life. And that is a, that is a very heavy and very important thought for us to continue. Uh, any questions? We're gonna watch this video, and then I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Rob here, and we can finish this part of it. All right, thank you very much. Let's, uh, let's watch this video again.